Welcome once again. Right now we're doing the last part of John chapter 15, verses 18 through to 27. This is talking about how the world hates the true Jesus. Verse 18, Jesus is speaking here. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, since I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his Lord. And that is found in John 13, verse 16. We already taught about this. If they persecuted me, and they did, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But they will do all these things to you for my name's sake, because they don't know him who sent me. A lot of people claim to know God. A lot of people, a lot of people claim to know God, but they don't really know God. Their God is more or less just the big Santa Claus in the sky. And I have said this, and I'll say it again. Atheism is a product of of a false and hypocritical church, a church that preaches falsehood. Because you see, we got a church today that just talks a lot about more or less just like a big sugar daddy in the sky, which that is not the God that the Bible talks about. The Bible talks about a God who is a very serious God, who can be the best, best friend that you could ever have, but he could be the worst enemy that you could ever ever imagine. That's what the Bible says. That's what church doesn't teach you. Verse 22, if I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have had sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I hadn't done among them the works which no one else did, they wouldn't have had sin. But now they have seen and have also hated both me and my father. But this happened so that the word may be fulfilled, which was written in their law. They hated me without a cause. This is found in Psalm 35 verse 19 and 69 verse 4. Think about that for a second. They hated me without a cause. And you know, there are a lot of people today that hate the true godly people that are in the world. They hate them. Why? For no reason. They hate them for no reason, other than the fact that there is just a spiritual conflict there. Verse 26, when the counselor, again, this is the parakletos, counselor, helper, advocate, intercessor, comforter, has come, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, Take notice, not a human here. It's a spirit who proceeds from the Father. He will testify about me. Now, there's a, there's a religion out there who talks about the Holy Spirit, who talks about hearing from the Holy Spirit and being friends with the Holy Spirit, but they don't talk or testify about Jesus at all. This is one of the signs of the Holy Spirit. If you really have the Holy Spirit, that spirit will testify about Jesus. Okay, now in the previous chapter that we just read, it talks about how Jesus said the Holy Spirit will remind you of his teachings. There are a few more signs to look for, and we're going to talk about that in the next few chapters. Verse 27, for you will also testify because you have been with me from the beginning. And that concludes our reading from John chapter 15. Once again, may God bless you in your pursuit of him. And yes, pursue him. Pursue the truth, even if it hurts. And yeah, you know what? A lot of times, from a carnal perspective, the truth does hurt. Let's not be afraid of that. Thanks again for listening, and God bless you. God give you revelation to see things that no one else sees, to understand things that no one else understands. And as you call on him, he will show you great and mighty things. Thanks again.